Okay, this clip will be about my new uh, BK Precision Wow and Flutter Meter 1035, that's the number. And this is a device that, uh, that will measure Wow and Flutter from tape decks. And um, I bought this and I like it very much because it has a has a big display easy to read out has its own uh, oscillator for uh, the test frequency and it has uh, a big range and it measures different uh, settings and it uses uh, different uh, standards there are of course in the world different standards for measuring this and it, this unit uh, measures them all. So, it's very happy with it. Um, let me talk you through it a bit. Um, well, as I said, um, um, it has its own oscillator and uh, you can see the frequency here. <coughs> and, um, of course, the range is uh, from 10%, 3%, 1%, 0.3%, 0.1%, and 0.003%. That's very fine measurement. Um, that you can select and it has two scales on the meter that you can easily see the value um, this measures the wow and this measures the flutter you ask what's the difference between wow and flutter well wow is all the speed variations say uh, below 6 hertz 6 hertz speed variations and flutter is, is faster speed variations 6 hertz and up up until 200 hertz or something like that uh, so wow is, is like a slow variation like like when you put a record on the turntable and um, and the hole is not exactly in the center and you get this uh, wow sound and that's that's wow and flutter is, is quicker flutter is probably due to some mechanical failure in the uh, in the in the in the motor of the deck um, so it can measure wow uh, it can measure flutter uh, but it can also measure both at the same time and that's called weighted and it can also measure unweighted um, you can switch sensitivity if you have a very low input signal you can uh, uh, switch to very low uh, input signal and that's easy for measuring direct uh, input from uh, well from from phono cartridges or tape heads or something like that um, as it has its own oscillator you can also use it to measure frequency from an outside source you can put it on measure frequency like this then it's not a wow and flutter meter just measure frequency very handy um, yeah and there we have the three standards from uh, right to left we have the DIN standard DIN that's the Deutsche Industrie norm from Germany we have the CCIR that's uh, the French uh, standard we have the NAB, that's the North America Broadcast Standard from America, and we have the GIS, it's standard from Japan. And <clears throat> as these standards use a different frequency to measure, you can switch the oscillator from 3 kilohertz to 3.15 kilohertz. The 3.15 is necessary for the DIN standard. So that's a rundown of the meter. Um, and now we're going to measure some wow and flutter with it. Okay, so now we're going to do our first measurement with the uh, wow and flutter meter. I have uh, connected the, uh, the output of the uh, oscilloscope, not the oscilloscope, the oscillator, uh, to the input on the deck. And the output of the deck is connected to the input on the meter so that it can measure a wow and flutter meter. I'm going to measure uh, the DIN uh, specification. Why you ask? Because uh, well, DIN is the Deutsche norm and uh, I live closest to Germany. I live in Holland so uh, not, not, the, not the French standard, not the uh, United States standard and, and not the Japanese standard. So um, Then I have to put the frequency on 3.15 kilohertz and uh, start with the larger scale as I said I'm gonna, not going to measure wow or flutter but I'm going to measure weighted because that measures 
both at the same time. It's for uh, it's easier for this demonstration. And sensitivity is okay, and I'm not going to measure frequency, so this, this is all set up correctly. So we can now start with the um, with the uh, with the recording. As you can see, as I uh, the deck is already in uh, in record mode, and if I go if I switch the deck to source, it gets direct input from its own uh, oscillator <coughs> through the deck, and you can see it starts to measure the frequency, which is three thousand one hundred and fifty kilohertz uh, hertz and um, uh, so I'm going to switch it back to uh, tape and we're going to start the uh, measurement as you can see it measures the frequency of the tape you can see that it is measuring the frequency because when I uh, use the pitch control the frequency goes down then stabilizes again of course because the tape is now moving constantly again and when I put it on the original speed it just measures a big uh, larger frequency and then it stabilizes again of course so we have uh, we have uh, values from the from the tape deck now and of course you don't see the meter because we have a very large range here of 10 percent well there's no uh, nothing to measure yet 1% and a little bit 0.3% now we can see something but I can probably go a little bit lower with the range and there we have some nice measurements as you can see it it's around 4 on the scale and as the range is 0.1% so 0.1 is this so this is 0.04% 0.04% for this deck. Well, I think it's, I think it's very good. I think it's in with, within uh, spec. And uh, yeah, I think it's okay. Uh, nice thing about this deck is that it has, uh, of course, uh, auto reverse, so we can uh, it's bidirectional. So now I'm going to measure the uh, reverse direction. Let's see what that measures. let it stabilize a bit and then uh, yeah it's a little bit more it's around 0 0.05 0 0.06 in this direction not sure why but well it's not that much difference. I would say about 0 0.05, I guess. So here you have it. The results for the Tayak X2000R, measured with a wow and flutter meter. Um, to the next deck. Okay, so I hooked up another deck. This is my uh, Akai GX77, which is also a two way deck with auto reverse. And um, it has the nice uh, LED meters. <coughs> so, well, let's do this. Okay, as you can see on the meter, well, it's a little bit more than the Tayak. It's um, mm, 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 around 0 0.06, I guess. Just a little bit more. And just to demonstrate that I am measuring the tape, I'm going to put it in. Uh, I'm going to put the tape deck from tape to source and you see um, because it now gets the uh, uh, the live oscillator feed directly there's no wow and flutter but this is from the tape deck um, yeah it's a little bit more and let's reverse the deck and see if 
that makes any difference. It looks a little bit better in this direction, but actually not that much. And I guess this is all uh, within spec. So that was the Akai GX77. Okay, I'm gonna do another test with my Akai. Uh, I'm gonna show you that um, the wow and flutter is actually a lot worse on the lower speed. The Akai is now on the 19 centimeter per second uh, setting, and as you can see, the wow and flutter is. Yeah, it's around uh, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, which is actually a lot better than the um, than the spec. So the so the mechanics are in good condition. Now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna lower the uh, the tape speed and see what that does to the wow and flutter. Just let it settle. Gonna go up a scale. Okay, seems to have settled now. Um, because this is the point 0.3 scale, we're going to look at the upper scale. And on the point 0.3 scale, we're almost at point 0.1. Because this is point 0.3, so this is point 0.1. And that is a lot. That is actually a lot. So when I go to this scale, it should be full scale. Yeah, and it is. So you can see that it almost doubles when you lower the speed. And for comparison I'm gonna put it back on 19 centimeters per second and let it settle. And yeah. It's about half. You see, it's not a, it's not an exact exact science. You have to uh, interpret the indication of the meter. So, well, it's a nice experiment anyway.